that the 15 participants of Restoration Academy 2013. Ooh. This March, Mayor Coleman welcomed the incoming class of the Restoration Academy. But I want to congratulate all of you for getting here. Hundreds have been interviewed to get to this point. The city and the Central Ohio Workforce Investment Corporation sponsored the Restoration Academy. Its goal is to give those convicted of a crime the tools that they need to succeed in this difficult job market. This is the program's second year. Last year's class, they were the pioneers. And because of their success, you're here today. We look at the job market now and it's hard for anyone to get a job at this time, but it's even harder for somebody who has that past record. It was a story that the men and women of last year's graduating class knew all too well, and one that Mayor Coleman heard everywhere that he went. I can't tell you how often uh, someone came up to me and said, uh, Mayor, I need a job. 50% of the time. Uh, that individual said, well, I've spent time in prison. Now what can you do for me? And frankly, I wasn't sure. And it troubled me. It troubled me. It, it, it was rested hard on my heart that what, what can I do? So Mayor Coleman and the City of Columbus found the answer in the Restoration Academy. Restoration Academy is a, a six-month program really geared towards uh, the restored citizen population. Um, our goal was to take them through just uh, a number of activities that will help them reintegrate themselves professionally and personally in the society. Recruitment was exciting uh, because I got to meet each individual and the selection was one to where we felt we were picking the best participants because they were ready to make that change. They would have the chance to prove it in a rigorous six-month paid internship and training program that included an opportunity to boost their resumes by going to work in a city department. It was a long journey, but it was a journey well taken. Getting there would take community effort, including the city, COWIC, and these Central Ohio organizations. Of course, we focus on second chances when you talk about empowering communities and changing lives. And at the Columbus Urban League, when we heard about the Restoration Academy and the opportunity that was going to be afforded certain individuals that we know we've seen and we know their struggle, we wanted to make sure that we were a part of that. The Columbus Urban League was not alone. Alvis House helped with the recruitment and selection, trained the city supervisors, and helped COWIC develop a mentoring and networking group. Columbus Neighborhood Health Centers provided health screenings. Columbus State Community College completed fitness assessments and a healthy living plan. And the Eldon LC Ward YMCA gave each participant a free membership for the duration of the program. Fitness and your physical health adds to your ability to be a good employee, a good family member. Participants also received healthy cooking instructions and worked on a community garden with Columbus Public Health and the Franklin Park Conservatory. And the Columbus Urban League and Impact Community Action delivered work readiness courses. We talked about job survival skills, how you retain that position, how you interview, how you meet people and greet people, and then building that confidence so that you don't walk in with a chip on your shoulder or looking over and thinking everybody's judging you. You go in with what you bring to the table, you bring your A game every time, and you just knock it out of the park. And so then you just, it doesn't matter what the past was or it doesn't matter what happened in the past. All that matters is right here and right now. It kind of gave us self-esteem. It kind of built it up. It built me up. Just knowing that I can accomplish something, like I can, I could deserve a second chance and able to get a second chance and knowing that like if I can do it you know somebody else can do it too. The ultimate goal was to empower each individual with the support to find full-time self-sustaining employment within the city and to encourage other employers to follow this example. It starts with this, the Restoration Academy. Um, if we can really have them look at the success that we are having now and the success that we hope to have in the future with this academy will show employers that you can hire ex-offenders. In the end, it's what every participant proved. In October of last year, 12 out of the 15 original members of the class graduated. With their new experience, references, and commitment to seeing it all through, all were hired. 
two with local companies like Clean Turn and 10 with the city. One of those 10 new hires, Tarika Cradle, now runs the Restoration Academy. She was so impressive to me that I hired her to be in charge of Restoration Academy. Mm -hmm. She's in charge of it. Yep. But she was sitting right where you are. I'm glad that I went through the program. I'm glad that I stuck it out and I made it. This year, the Restoration Academy will build on its past success, but won't be any easier. If last year was rigorous, this year is going to be even more rigorous. And that is because in a pilot program, you learn what you've done well, and you've also learned what you can do better. This is not going to be easy. I want this to be rigorous. I want it to be tough, because that's what life's all about. It's tough. Sometimes life is very unfair. So if you want to leave, Go now. Do you want to go right now? Everybody wants to stay in this program. Yes. Everybody, who wants to stay in this program? Raise your hand. Okay. As a community in Columbus, have decided to wrap our arms around you. You're part of family, and we want you to be successful. But this is going to be tough love. And we're going to learn more about you over these next uh, six months. But my hope and my goal is that each and every one of you is going to receive a certificate at the end of this. Our goal is also that you're going to receive employment somewhere, somehow. I wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you along the way. Okay. For more information about the Restoration Academy and to check out the progress of this year's class, you can go to www.columbus.gov.